Hello, my fashionistas. You are most welcome to Yvonne Winifred UG. My name is Yvonne and today we are making this beautiful dress. So if you are new, kindly subscribe to join the family so that you don't miss such beautiful information. And let's get into the video. So I have this pink fabric. It has black and golden kind of yellow colors in it. And it's what I'm using today. So I have my back and front pieces folded into two. As you see, this is the back and it is wider than the front by three quarters of an inch. And that quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch is the zipper allowance there so on top here i have my shoulder line and on two um i use the hip measurement divided by four plus two and a half inches as the width of this entire fabric that i'm working with and the length is about 30 inches seam allowances inclusive but you can work with that one inches or even 29 inches so from the top from my shoulder line i marked eight and a half inches armhole line 10 inches bust line 16 inches waistline and 25 inches as the hip line so we are working from this center front not the other zipper allowance so from the center front i'm taking off the shoulder measurement of seven and a half inches plus half inches sewing allowance but since i'll be using princess that i've added one inch so i'm marking nine inches that one inch that i've added is for the princess that so i mark nine inches also at the armhole line and then i connect those two points and that is my armhole line i will use it to curve my armhole so on top here i'm marking off one inch that is for the shoulder slant and whatever i've remained with i get its midpoint i divide it by two the midpoint and from that midpoint i move in by half an inch for the front armhole curve like that and again from that midpoint there i curve out my back armhole just like that so for the neckline i'm working with four and a half inches as the width and the depth of uh three and a half inches for the front three and a half inches for the front and for the back i worked with one and a half inches so now i can carve out my neckline one and a half inches for the back then carve out if you have your rulers kindly use them use them use them So from where the neckline has stopped, I slant my shoulder to the one inch that we marked along that armhole line. After there, I just add half an inch as the sewing allowance at the shoulder. And then I mark my dart placement. So the bust span that I'm working with or the nipple to nipple is 7 inches. Dividing that by 2, I get 3.5 inches plus half inch. For sewing, I mark 4 inches. That's why you're seeing me marking 4 inches from the center front towards the middle, 4 inches. And then I end up with that line that you're seeing me marking up to the bust line. And from the midpoint at the armhole here i just connect to the bust line but i make sure that there is a curve there that point shouldn't be too pointed it is supposed to be a curve where the two lines meet at the bust line so after there i divide the bust measurement that i'm working with by four inches i add one inch for the dart and then one inch for sewing and half an inch or quarter inch that is preferences you know if you prefer that 
so i mark that as a bust line and even up here at the armhole and i do the same even at the waistline the waist measurement dividing it by four inches whatever i get i add one inch for that one inch for sewing allowance some is allowance if i want to and i also do the same at the hip line as you see me then i mark those points so now guys what at the hip line i have about 13 inches so whatever i have at the hip line i subtract one and a half inches and whatever I remain with is what I mark at the hemline. So it is 11 and a half inches and that's what I've marked at the hemline. Then I connect the points to shape out the dress as you see it. That is it. So easy and quick. So from there, pair of scissors start cutting. As you see, remember, you cut out the back markings first, especially at the armhole and the neck region. So what is coming soon next is I'll be sh showing you how to sew. So now I'm cutting out the the dart as you see that is the princess dart make sure your fabrics are not moving so this is how i'm going to sew so i'll get my side pieces and right sides facing each other i'll sew by half an inch starting from the downer part and I'll do that for both side pieces of the front and the back pieces and then I'll show you what I have. So this is what I have after joining. Those are my princess darts as you see. That is it. And then I also cut out some facings. I just, you know, traced out this neckline and the facing length is four inches so guys folding my front piece remember i told you we added that one inch at the shoulder line we have to cut it out on on this middle piece i think you're seeing it so you can just you know measure out your shoulder shoulder measurement dividing it by two whatever you get you can just mark it out again it is eight inches as i told you before so it is what i am marking here like this or else you can just mark out one inch from the side and then you cut it out just like that so after cutting it out you take this front piece you align it with the back piece or onto the back piece so this is the back piece so I'm, i just align this front piece onto this back piece so that i cover out the other excess and after that excess i go back to the front piece and i carve out its armhole remember they are not the same so that is for the front and the other one is for the back so now this is what i have so again at the sewing machine i'm going to put my facings right sides facing each other for the front and the back and the main piece then i'll join at the shoulder by half an inch after the shoulder guys i'll just cut out my sleeves and i'll join them onto this piece and after the sleeves i'll join the sides i'll go to the back add a zipper and this is what i have now if you have any questions please comment below if you have anything that you want me to describe more please comment below so my sleeves are attached the sides are joined as you see and at the back the zipper is put so this is the zipper that i've worked with So now guys after there i get the entire measurement of the hem line all that hem all round and whatever i get is what i'm going to be using to cut out all the 
layered circle pieces so now i have this piece i'm um, um, you know folding it into two and then into four like that i'm cutting a full circle so for the full circle whatever measurement that i got all around the hemline i'm going to divide it by 6.28 and that is a constant that we use when we are cutting a full circle and for the half circle we use 3.14 so the entire measurement dividing it by 6.28 i got six inches so from this this um pointed point i'm marking out six inches and from that six inches i'm taking out the first length of the first layer it is five 5 inches so you see me here marking 5.5 inches 5.5 inches at the side i marked even 5 inches and after i just cut out so i tried to add some joining allowance but then i left it so i worked with that but you will see after everything i ended up with so much like excess and i had to bleed it you will see at the end so this is what i have this is the first piece it is five inches long and i'm going to use this piece to cut out the other pieces so that's this is the first piece it is five inches long and the second piece is 11 inches long also in length this is the second piece 11 inches long and the other third piece is 17 inches long so you can also use your own measurements those are not you know constant measurements you can use any measurements that you want you can use 6 9 or 12 and maybe 15 or you can use 5 10 and 15 you can even use two layers not all the three so guys i've pinned all my three layers together at the top here and i'm going to sew to join all of them by quarter inch and after joining them i'll be taking them and uh, finish up their hems you know i'll hem all these pieces and after hemming them i'll join them onto the main dress by half an inch along that hemline like that so that i'll end up with this as you see so this is the beautiful dress i hemmed all the pieces as you see and then i attached them onto the main piece and this is the dress guys comment below how you see the dress is it beautiful is it nice is it simple to make or anything just comment below tell me more i appreciate all your comments so those are the three layers i'm liking this dress so this is the pleat that i told you i ended up with excess and i ended up pleating it at the back and it just gave me another nice design that i love and i'm so sure the past the owner of this dress will appreciate so thanks so much for watching